the only goal we pursue in this life is how to make heaven heaven is a greater place heaven is a place that we all want to be and by the special grace of god we will be there in jesus name i am about to say hallelujah 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 and hallelujah song we never say for our mouth in jesus name amen good morning happy new day happy wednesday november 23 2022 this is love word taking you open heaven a guide to a close fellowship with god let's pray but I will bless you, we appreciate you. We thank you for giving us the grace to witness today. We thank you for giving us the grace to be here today alive. Father, bless us and bless our way. Bless the work of our hand and bless our knowledge. In Jesus' name, amen. The topic before this morning is run from flatter. Run from flatter. And then we first shall be found in the book of Proverbs 26, verse 28. I read, A lie tongue hated those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth walketh wrong. A lying tongue hated those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth walketh wrong. Vletterers are dangerous people. They come like a friends, but they are really enemies. Even though some of them don't know it. In the Bible reading for today, Herod was destroyed not because he said any proud word, but because he was being flattered and did not run from the flatterers or tell them to stop. These people we are hear him because of what they could get from him, not because they really felt he was a great orator. Proverbs 26, verse 28 says, A lying tongue, it a do that afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth walketh wrong. Flatterers will run you if you don't run away from them. If you have been flattered and it feels good, you have been shaking yourself because the people flattering you are not your friends. They are trap setters sent by devil to you. Proverbs 29, verse 5 says, A man that ha a man that flattered his neighbor spreadeth a net for his feet. Someone will only tell you that you are perfect and never tell you that you did anything wrong. He's not your friend. When you bring those people who flatter you closer to you, that is like the bush meat goat to play in front of the hunter house. Destruction is near. Psalm 5, verse 9 says, For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their truth is an open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. Their inward part is not ordinary wickedness, but described as a very wickedness. Their truth, from where the flattery comes, is an open grave. You are to run from such people. When they advise you, take their advice with a pinch of salt because they don't mean well for you at all. Something, Psalm 62 verse 4 says, They advise you so as to bring you down from a certain position. Sweet as their tongue may be, don't take the advice of flatterers. Run! from them. Take your heel and run for them. Brethren, our key point for today, if there is someone who is always praising you excessively, stay away from that fellow henceforth. If there is someone who is always praising you excessively, stay away from that fellow henceforth. Brethren, I want us to read the book of Acts, 12 verse 20 to 23. And our Bible in one year, Acts 16 verse 18. 
Our hymn is in 13. My hope is built on nothing less. My hope is built on nothing less. Let's pray. Our loving Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We bless your holy name for the grace to witness today's program. Father, bless us accordingly. Guide us and guide our way. Don't let us be ashamed. In Jesus' name, amen. As we are coming back here tomorrow, Father, protect us and guide us through the day and overnight. In Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, this is Love World. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe, share, and like, and goodness of God will be in your life. I will never leave you. Amen. Have a nice day. And bye for now.